It's quite the find. Hello friends and welcome back to Crow's Thrifty Finds. My name is Melanie. So I figured it's about time to probably do a thrifting video and I'm actually in Fargo right now at the Savers. So I'm about to do some thrifting and I'm pretty excited about it. But not only am I excited about going into Savers, I'm also excited about what I met somebody from Facebook Marketplace to pick up. So let's take a look at that. This is a coveted item here. These are brand new Lightning McQueen Crocs. Big Bolo, I've mentioned these in, in a video before, never found them until today <laughs> when I purchased them off of Marketplace. I paid 60 for these, so, you know, it wasn't the deal of the decade, but these sell, you know, up to 150 bucks. So I am going to more than double my money. So I'm super excited just to find such a rare, cool item, and I don't think it will sit on the shelves very long. So let's see what I find in Savers. First find, found some vintage toys. They, they may be Transformers. I read that there's Hasbro 1985 on the bottom and it looks to be a bunch of Transformer airplanes maybe? I don't know. I'm definitely going to pick them up for $3.49 and try to figure out more when I get it home. So item number two is this Optimus Prime trailer. Another guy was looking at this and put it back and I'm not really sure why because it does sell in the high 20s. So at 4.49 you get a $20 profit. Works for me. Found me some electronic battleship. This is the advanced mission. This goes in the 30s and 3.49. That's a winner. Hopefully all the pieces are there. Found another new game. This takes me back. Um, don't know exactly what it's worth. It's went for best offer on 35. It was the only comp I could see, but 699. I'm gonna take it. Make some money. So I am back at home and. Before I get into showing you all more thrifting footage, I want to tell you all a couple of other purchases that I made not too long ago. One of them was from Facebook Marketplace also, and uh, this is an item that I've actually talked about in prior videos. Um, it is a, I believe they're called Starburst Clocks. It's from the 70s. And this one is really, really cool. Not only does it look really cool, it also has something that's special about it. I was told by the person who sold it to me that they converted it from electric to battery. And what's nice about that is you don't have that old cord hanging down your wall. Now, maybe some people might want that, but a lot of people just want a nice clean look of their clock on the wall. So this clock has that option. So that is amazing. So I'm going to try to charge a premium for this. I paid uh, $55, I believe, for it, and I should be able to sell it for over $200. Um, so we'll see what it ends up going for, but these clocks are very desirable. This mid-century Bonnard look is very in right now, so I'm pretty confident that it will get sold in not too long, and somebody's going to really like that it's a battery-converted clock. So that is one purchase. Number two, I have jumped on the Stanley reselling bandwagon. I happened to see some of these Stanley goods last I was at Target and I was shocked that they were even still there because I'd kind of seen the buzz about them on my eBay reseller group that I'm part of on Facebook. And I was convinced that by the time I got there, there wouldn't be any, but lo and behold, I got the last 40 ounce tumbler in the store. <laughs> so I guess that was good luck. I actually just sold it today for $92. So purchasing it for, I think I spent with my Target discount that I have from the credit card, maybe like $42, $43. So definitely a great profit there. Have not sold those smaller cup sets just yet, but I should be able to double my money on those when they do sell just based on what 
the comps have been going for. So those are two uh, recent purchases that I'm also excited about, but there's really good ones still to come. So here's the rest. So I have found a vintage doodle bear here. She's missing her top, but she still sells in the mid to upper 20s. Um, so I, I think for $2.99 I can make some profit on her. Yeah, we have some brat stalls here. Not this one, but two boys. Usually pick up brat stalls when I can find them, so we get $8.99, which means like $4.50 each. Ah, uh, I guess they're worth taking. Maybe not the biggest profit, just depending on rarity. Though this guy on the left, I think, might be more valuable than the one on the right. Um, that looks like Cameron. But yeah, I'm going to pick them up on account that they have clothes. and Yeah, we'll see. This is a pretty cool fleece. It has a little spot on it, but I think I can maybe wash it and get it out. It doesn't look like a stain stain. Very cool throwback. 90s. 5.49. Can do something with this. Found a nice Sony hard disk audio recorder. I think this is probably going to be a winner, and especially at 12.99. Sony's are great to sell. This looks like it could be a good one. So I found this AT&T 24 gigahertz cordless answering system. $6.99. Couldn't find exact comps, but at $6.99, it's pretty safe. I've sold a lot of new phones and answering machine systems, and usually you can get them for pretty good deals. So we're going to give this one a shot as well. Got some new coach flip-flops coach isn't what it used to be but they're brand new 10 bucks comps are in the high 40s i'm gonna take them kind of like this purse it's looking pretty good 29.99 and there's a wallet as well for 10 i think this is a good pick. So I wanted to take a moment to remind you all to like this video if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. That really, really helps. So if you're watching these videos week after week, hit that subscribe button. That's so helpful for me. And that's going to wrap it up for the video this week. I hope you all enjoyed the finds. Hopefully you'll see them pretty soon again in a What Sold video, but we'll just keep our fingers crossed. And in the meantime, this is Melanie with Crow's Thrifty Finds, and I'll see you next week.